Hi, I'm Shane. Um, six years ago I was working in Sydney and uh, working in the theatre there and uh, that work had uh, come to an end and uh, I found myself penniless over in Sydney so I had to come home very quickly. So I found myself destitute in Auckland on the city streets. In those days I was living rough, uh, living in building sites, uh, disused warehouses, skips, anywhere I could get in the city and I was walking around at all hours of the night and day. I felt it very difficult to be able to put two sentences together and I wasn't the sort of person you'd want to speak to. I didn't like myself at that time and I became depressed and depression virtually took over me for a period of years while I was living in the city streets. Well I did pray for some reason and I found solace in Psalms, a prayer for help, Psalm 40. I thought by going over and over this Psalm it would help me um, to find the people who could help me in my journey. I was trespassed by the police now and again for living in disused buildings until the judge asked me, how is your health, Shane? And I said, it's not very, very good, judge. He said, well, it's a time for a stay in hospital for you. After I'd spent 20 weeks in the North Shore Hospital in the mental health acute ward, I'd put on weight, I was a lot more happier, I felt well adjusted, I'd made friends there, and I felt ready to take on the world again, to take on life again, and I applied for a place on the North Shore so I could be closer to my partner and son. One of the good things of, of being a part of Equip was that they helped me with my self-care skills. They always made sure that I was wearing clean clothes. I became more polite and more aware of myself and what I was saying and doing. And I felt that, that I was being cared for and looked after. It was a tr tremendous pleasure and they always helped me with my goals for moving on to another flat I had a choice of flats and we looked at a few before we actually found a flat in Glenfield. I wasn't able to find household items. She took me down to the warehouse and to the stores for finding house items and furniture. It was really good. We enjoyed it. She showed me how to budget my money and, uh, and uh, helped me get on a work and income benefit. She helped me set up the phone and power and, uh, and those sorts of things. I was very thankful to Des and I still am today. It was a great time in my life. It was only three years ago that I moved in here. But I have everything I need now. I have my family, I have my friends, and I have this beautiful place here in Glenfield. It's central to all the services and transport. It's a great place. I love it. After I got my flat, my community support worker Aaron suggested, well what is on the boil for you now Shane? Perhaps you could go to study, perhaps you could go to university for a better job. I never knew I could get through such a course and I achieved a B plus mark at the end of the course. I enjoyed it very much. He went on to help me find work with the Edge Employment and this was a very satisfying job for me. It kept me fit and active and these days I know I have to be active right Aaron it's not just about cooking and cleaning anymore but the cooking side is still with me thanks to Caroline and Emily and you Aaron I've had a good time cooking in my flat and I've uh, started to work on a new goal I've applied for the AUT to become a chef I have a dream of uh, cooking in the best restaurants in Auckland one day I don't know if I'll achieve it but Aaron and Caroline Caroline and Emily, thank you so much for helping me with my cooking. The living room was uh, a group of people that met each week uh, who had mental health difficulties and they worshipped and uh, praised Jesus and as the saying goes, everybody can be somebody when you're with Jesus. Looking back over the last six years, I've realised I've been on quite a journey, a journey of darkness and hopelessness and despair to one of light and faith and belief in myself and belief in other people, that there are good people out there and I'm basically a good person again. I like myself again and that is such a change for me. I've made a lot of friends and I've gained a lot of support from Equip and the living room and I have a lot more going for myself these days. I'm very thankful to Equip. I feel that I'm lucky and blessed.